Hello, New Hope alumni. We hope that you're well and that God is blessing you. We're reaching out to you because something very special is happening in the New Hope community. That's right, Stuart. Mrs. Peabody is retiring after 21 years at New Hope Academy. And we know that she has impacted your life because she taught every single student who has ever graduated from New Hope Academy. Because of her deep and widespread impact, we've come up with two ways we will be honoring her, and we'd like to invite you to join us in doing both of these things. The first is that we're going to be presenting her with a book of letters written by anyone who has been blessed by her time at New Hope, especially her students. We'll be presenting these letters to her at a special reception held in her honor after devotions on Monday, May 21st. Of course, all of you are invited to come and be at this reception with her. And when you write your letter, you can get it to us by using the information provided on this GoFundMe page. The other way that we've chosen to honor Ms. Peabody is by giving back to the very students whom she has dedicated her life over 21 years. In honor of Ms. Peabody, we invite you to give a gift of, of any amount to help provide a life-changing education to one of the children that, just like you, Ms. Peabody has loved dearly. Our goal is to be able to tell Ms. Peabody on May 21st that 100 of her former students gave back to the New Hope Academy Scholarship Fund as a way of saying thank you to Ms. Peabody. It could seriously be just $5.00. The amount is not the most important thing, but rather the heart behind it. And as you think about the impact that Mrs. Peabody has had with the gifts that God has given her, please take three minutes to watch this video narrated by Ms. Peabody to remind you of the impact you can make in the life of a New Hope Academy student. Then make your gift through this GoFundMe page or at www dot nhafranklin.org slash donate. Thank you for being incredible ambassadors for New Hope Academy through the amazing lives that you lead. Remember, write a letter, make a donation, and come join us for Mrs. Peabody's reception on May 21st. We love you, we miss you, and we hope we'll see you on May 21st. God bless. I love the name New Hope. I think about the word hope and I think how it gives light and love that each child that comes has the hope of something great in their life, that God will lead them into something wonderful. My name is Kathy Peabody and I teach third grade. I knew this is the only school that I would ever want to teach in. The heart of the mission was for the child, that they would know Jesus and that they would be loved, that everyone could come to school no matter of their economic status, no matter their color of their skin, and it was going to be a great quality education. In the classroom, New Hope was set up for 40% to 50% low-income students. The students don't really know that the person that they're sitting next to might be a student that has some economic needs. The diversity of economics, it just is molded and melt into the classroom. I believe having a small class makes each child feel that they can learn the way that God wanted them to learn. We place a big emphasis on our academics. We love to have interaction in our classes. Everybody is given the opportunity here to learn. There is no difference of economic status in learning. Every child is on the same plane. New Hope was built on God's direction and God's leading. And without God, there can't be reconciliation. I love the community among the teachers. 
I love the community among the students, and I love to see the community growing among the parents. School is basically just like a giant family. Community and the relationship that all the kids have together. <laughs> it really has given me a chance to like get these strong relationships with not just people like me. I just think New Hope is empowering the students. They feel cared for, they feel that they have a lot to offer, that every child can get education, no matter what their status is, that God gives us hope for that. And I love that we can give that to the community. We have a hope and a dream for your child to be who God made them to be.